How's it going folks? I'm back again with another video today. So I'm going to do this video because uh, shout out to one of my asylum members, Nick, uh, from the asylum. Uh, sending me a very interesting article when it pertains to Stone Cold Steve Austin and Kevin Owens. Now, as I'm sure many of you know, um, for the past couple of weeks, Kevin Owens has been using the Stone Cold Stunner when it pertains to Shane McMahon. You know, his feud with Shane McMahon, supposedly they're going to... I think they might be having a match at SummerSlam. Um, this is coming from me right now, not even knowing what matches are on the card. So, uh, somebody can go ahead and correct me on that if that match is actually going to happen at SummerSlam. But I wanted to do this, uh, and I'm sure this will probably be an asylum topic, you know, for the rest of the asylum to talk about. Um, but I wanted to do a quick vid on this because it's interesting because um, there seem to be a lot of uh, quote-unquote anti-smarks or, or, or attitude era fanboys who decided to crap all over Kevin Owens for using the Stone Cold Stunner to Shane McMahon. Uh, not knowing that Kevin Owens has been using the Stone Cold Stunner since he's been Kevin Steen in the Indies. He's, uh, Kevin Owens has been doing the Stone Cold Stunner way before he even came to the company. And there was even times where Kevin Owens was even using the Stunner before his program with Shane McMahon in the WWE. So anyways, uh, and, and also another thing, there was a couple of people that were talk about oh stone cold would never allow kevin owens to use his finisher or he shouldn't be allowed to or stone cold did he give him the okay to well th this is going to pretty much invalidate all these people's claims about stone cold and how he feels about kevin owens not only um him using the you know his finisher but him as a pro wrestler so let me go ahead and read the article for you guys Last week's Raw reunion featured a number of entertaining moments, but none more compelling than the conclusion of the show with Stone Cold Steve Austin holding court in the WWE ring on a show he made iconic. Austin delight, delighted the millions watching by sharing stories from the ring and the road, highlighting legends, reintroducing himself to a new legion of fans hungry to see more of Stone Cold on Raw, all while cracking open a couple of dozen cans of signature El Segundo Brewing Broken Skull IPA. Uh, which, you know, which is unfortunate for some people because it's actually non-alcoholic beer. Um, <laughs> don't ask me how I know that. Um, yet one of the disappointments from the reunion was the lack of, of a segment between Austin and the modern era's emerging version of Kevin Owens. Owens is using Austin Stone Cold Stunner as a finisher, spinning Venom on the mic, and terrorizing Shane McMahon, which is certainly similar to Austin's rise in the Hall of Fame storyline with Vince McMahon. Owens as the next Stone Cold. In fact, instead of placing them across from one another on television, Austin much pretty much prefers that spotlight be placed squarely on Owens, giving him the chance to succeed based on his work in the company. And here's what Stone Cold Steve Austin had to say. Well, with Kevin Owens, don't throw in, don't throw my name in there, says Austin. Speaking from his home just outside of Los Angeles. This guy could talk a lot of trash, he's great in the ring, he's using my finisher, but hell, no one's going to be the next Stone Cold Steve Austin. So basically what Stone Cold is saying is, he'd rather not have segments with Kevin Owens and let Kevin Owens take the shine for his own. And not let Stone Cold Steve Austin take Kevin Owens' spotlight. Because he feels that it's going to take away from Kevin Owens himself. And pretty much, pick, pretty much make it obvious that what they're going with is Kevin Owens being the next Stone Cold. So to avoid that, Stone Cold's like, I'm going to have Kevin Owens do his own thing. And create his own character. And have some kind of Stone Cold elements to his character. But not exactly Stone Cold. You know, flipping people off, drinking beers, talking like him, looking like him, so on and so forth. When people said, when people were saying I was going to be the next Ric Flair when I was in WCW, no one was going to ever be the next Ric Flair. Which is true. 
and you're not going to see the next Hulk Hogan or the next Bret Hart. It just doesn't happen that way. People like to say that because of the similarities, but what we should be saying is, I want this guy to be the next big, big thing. Austin added that he is a Kevin Owens fan and that he gives his blessing to Kevin Owens to use the Stone Cold Stunner. My finish was being used by someone else before I really made it famous. So here is Stone Cold pretty much saying, Hey, you guys in on YouTube are talking about Kevin Owens stealing my finisher. But I stole, because basically the, the original actually, Stone Cold does the stunner, but it's really a cutter, um, just only in a different form. So Stone Cold is basically pretty much saying, if you people are going to criticize Kevin Owens for using my move, you should be criticizing me too, because I stole, uh, you know, the, the 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 cutter really. Uh, people would say it's the stunner, but really it's the cutter. I stole from someone else, but I I used it to trademark my character and my finisher. Now some people may say, oh, but Kevin Owens is doing it the exact same way as Steve Austin, which is true. But he's not the only one, you know, Willie Mack, you know, he's an Impact Wrestling. He does the Stone Cold Stunner as well. Uh, but anywho. So I told him, go ahead and use the Stone Cold Stunner. So here it is. Uh, for anybody that was saying that Stone Cold didn't, didn't give Kevin Owens the, uh, the okay to use the Stunner. Well, here pretty much says it right here that Stone Cold is cool with Kevin Owens using the Stone Cold Stunner. But also creating his own character. Uh, so yeah, he continues on. Uh, I, I think he talks about Becky Lynch. Well, first he talks about how he met Kevin Owens. I met him at a long time ago at an airport and gave him some advice about cutting a damn promo. I like Kevin Owens. I think he does an amazing job with his promo in the ring. So here's Stone Cold putting Kevin Owens over as a performer. He's putting him over in this interview. Just as Owens has drawn comparisons to... Oh wait, that, that's not Stone Cold talking. Um, just as Owens has drawn comparisons to Austin, so has Becky Lynch with her fiery transformation into the man. It's just like when people wanted to compare me to Becky Lynch, said Austin. We have similar attitudes, but she's done things so differently than I have. She's running her own race, she has her own career, and she's doing a phenomenal job. People are comparing her to me because she's got that abrasive attitude like I did. But that's what we are supposed to have in pro wrestling. You know, I always hated when people called the attitude era the attitude era because I always thought professional wrestlers had attitude to begin with. So just let Kevin be Kevin, put him in the good situations, and don't put the pump the brakes on him if you're going to run with the guy then let him be the biggest baddest best kevin owens that he can be in other words wwe don't drop the ball with kevin owens otherwise kevin owens will be just like everybody else on the roster actually build him up to become a superstar in wwe that's why austin is really saying so yeah, that's pretty much for the article uh, when it pertains to Becky Lynch and uh, Kevin Owens. Basically saying, you can compare me to them, but don't say that they're the next me because there's only one me. So for the same people who also, you know, calling Kevin Owens the, the new Stone Cold, the next Stone Stone Cold, don't do that because they're two different people, two different uh even though they're two similar attitudes, they're totally two different characters. So, I mean, I, I agree with Austin. So, when it pertains to, you know, let them be their own people. And for the fans who are comparing, you could compare, but don't say that they're the next song called Steve Austin. And he said it in a very nice, polite way. Because at least Stone Cold could be, you know, peaceful about what other people say when it pertains to people comparing himself to other wrestlers. He doesn't have a problem with that. As long as 
they don't as long as they don't make it as oh they're building the next stone cold steve austin which they're not or nor they shouldn't and i think it was pretty smart for stone cold not to do a segment with kevin owens because it was because they would pretty much give it away that that's what they're doing which at the end of the day i mean i have my own opinions when it pertains to kevin owens and i don't think wwe you know is i think they're going to drop the ball with kevin owens eventually um, knowing their track record, I don't really have much faith. But you know what? I could be wrong. You never know. You never know. I'm just saying I have low expectations when it pertains to this. So, shout out to Nick. Thank you for giving me this article if you're watching this video. Um, shout out to Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's the man. He's one of the greatest to ever do it. And he pretty much told out the plain old truth. Straight up facts. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much what I gotta say about that. We'll probably talk more about that on our next Asylum show. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. And see you next time. Peace.